What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Chris's Custom Collectibles and today we are going to be pimping out the Ruby's Batfleck Grappling Gun. I received this thing a few days ago. It took forever to get here from the States. I can't find any of these in Australia but I finally did for a pretty good price. I think it's the same amount as the Han Solo Blast. I think about 15 bucks. Shipping was actually more than the actual price of the gun itself. Now today's customizing is a relatively simple one. The only main colors we've got going on is the wood grain hand handle and a gunmetal grey slash silver. So before we do any of the painting, you know how it goes, we've got to prime this plastic because mold injection plastic is a pain in the ass to work with if it is not properly primed. Now before priming, I'm going to go in and I don't know how well you guys can see on the handle there, but there's like the trademark DC Comics, all that bullshit there that I will sand off. I'm going to go in with a Dremel bit and bore open that hole and just a drill bit and bore open that hole there. No mucking around, no fussing about. So with that being said, let's get to it. All right, it is time to get down to business. Now we're gonna start off by painting this wooden handle and we're just gonna start off with the Creators Effects paint. It's just a standard dark brown paint. Now I hated this part because the first coat that you put over any metallic spray is always streaky, it's uneven, it's messy, but it has to be done. And there is the first coat right there. How messy is that? But here is the second coat. That is a lot more fuller, a lot more true to the color itself. Here we have the wood grain effect, and here we have the untreated area without the wood grain effect. And this was purely by accident. I found this method by accident. I was searching for a way to try and do the wood grain. As you can see that skin color there, I tried to do a kind of skin color wood grain that didn't work. So I got this student acrylic paint, and I just dab it onto the brushes if I'm gonna dry brush it on have a tissue handy and try and go in one direction like a wood grain usually would. Obviously in some parts I don't go in the same direction but for the most part overall I am going in the downward direction. Try and make all the area covered with this student's acrylic just kind of just all over the place very crudely and grab your brush and buff it into the handle itself and what you're left with is in my opinion a wood grain and there you go purely by accident I'm not gonna lie. Now as you can see here, we've got some spots of the student's acrylic that have bled over into the um, metallic part. So I'm just going back over with some Model Masters uh, Chrome and just neatening up all those areas there. And then I'm going in with some matte black from Model Masters there for the rivets and the two little vent holes there at the top of the handle. And now it's time to do the detailing. Now I'm using the uh, Creators Effects Testers acrylic wash. As you can see in the time lapse there, I'm just going over the whole metallic body of the grappling gun. Because so I want to get into all that amazing detail on this gun because it is chock full of it. And then after that, after all the coverage, you're going to go in and we're going to grab a tissue and we're just going to start to lightly dab away the excess. And what is left in the detail is that wash, which just brings a whole new level of depth to this piece for a child's toy. 
And you see there, just lightly dabbing off. I use tissues all the time for this type of stuff. Never paper towel with a print on it. It's always tissues. And there's the end result right there. Looking a bit matte, but that's okay. We're gonna gloss it up at the end of this video. And I'm just going in over certain areas of the grappling gun and just making them more of a solid chrome finish because that seems to be how the screen use prop is. And we're just gonna clear gloss it, just seal it up, two coats, let them dry between each coat, and then we're done, guys. Seriously, that is it. We're done. So thanks very much for watching guys. Overall, I am very happy with the end result of this thing right here. It's gonna be a perfect addition to the final Batfleck Batsuit cosplay that I'm working on. And speaking of which, I do have some updates coming. I have acquired some new pieces that I wanna show off to you guys, but I wanna do it in like a bulk video just to showcase everything that I've got so far. I'm basically, I'm trying to collect as many pieces as possible for the suit, whether it be multiple gauntlets, cows. So I've got a bit of everything. I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.